Beaver Creek. Randall County officials tell us the Texas Forest Service has estimated that fire at about 1,200 acres. It is still a very preliminary number, and tonight some residents in Lake Tanglewood are back in their homes. Others are coping with losing nearly all of their belongings. I went down there earlier today and I talked to some homeowners that have lost their homes. Take a listen. Can't believe it. it's all gone. Were you able to get some things out? No, no, it's all completely trashed. It's burned. There's nothing left. Um, I found out about three o'clock that it was all gone. Angie Coker is back for the first time to where her house once stood. Everything's gone. Across the street, it's the same story as the Nicholsons arrive. Kevin Nicholson walked us through what once was home for him, his wife, and two kids. Uh -huh. Looked over the valley there, looked over at the neighbor's area, and uh, it was back on the side, back side over there. And it's, of course, all gone. We all got out in the Durango because we could get everyone in the Durango and get the, the kids and the dogs in and about 10 minutes, probably no more than half an hour before the flames hit as, I, as best I can determine. So um, we just got in and got out. As luck was, would have it, we were about to put the house on the market to sell. Oh so <laughs> uh, uh, it's, it was, it's been a good place, good place to live, but boy, it, I just can't believe this. This is amazing. Our thoughts with those families and hard to watch and see all of that devastation. Again, Lake Tanglewood residents have been allowed back in, uh, only residents there. And the Palisades community is still under evacuation and may be let back in tonight.